Namaskar dear students through this video i am going to give you guidance for upcoming samskrita midterm examination dear students i have made this video to clarify your doubts based on your comment hope this video will be helpful you people to write second pc samskrita midterm examination very first your question was about portions karnataka b board has announced midterm examination portions long back only the portions are available in pu board's official website and for samskrita portion is first five lesson along with grammar that means first lesson purana bharatam second lesson parisham api raksha jeevitam third lesson nirvimarsha hi bhiramaha fourth lesson shunya mengulihi fifth lesson maharana pratapaha from all these five lessons question and answers whatever given in exercise parts along with the grammar which are given in grammar workbook part and also translation samskrita language to english or kannada translation that is first to five and english or kannada to samskrita translation first to four better you have to write and practice all the means that you can write the examination perfectly now i am going to discuss a model question paper for this midterm examination samskrita paper will be for 100 marks and total duration will be 3 hours 15 minutes first 15 minutes whatever the time you will get that to read question paper you decide which questions you can opt and you can which question you can leave in optional means so that if you plan properly you can present the paper beautifully that is very very important very first to main ek vakyena sanskrita bhashaya uttaram likata 10 questions will be there all the questions they will ask from exercise part that is very very important some students were asking me doubts in comment section yes i think your doubts is clarified and i hope here for midterm examination only five lessons are there so from one one lesson they may ask two two questions and you have to write only in samskrita that's why you have to taro very well this may here no options for questions second main is dvitrehi vakyehi samskrita bhashaya kannada bhashaya angla bhashaya va uttaram likhata two or three line answers you have to write either in samskrita or in kannada or in english while writing two three line answers you have to remember to mention lesson names for answers that is given in your blueprint once you go through the blueprint which is given in your textbook in the end so one format i think you will come to know and also i am displaying on screen like this you have to maintain one unique style while writing answers here total seven questions will be asked and among those seven any five you have to answer third main will be पाठनाम उल्लिख्य श्लोका अनुवाद कन्ड अथवा आंग्ल भाषया वा कुरता यू हाउ टू मेन्शन लेसन नेम एंड ट्रांसलेट द श्लोका एंड हियर फ्रॉम पोएट्री पार्ट फॉर दिस मिटर्म पुराण भारत लेसन इज देर आफ्टर दट निर्विमर्षा ही भीरव इज देर देन शून्य मेंगुली ही लेसन ऑल्सो कैरी श्लोका and from these three uh, lessons whatever the shlokas are prescribed to translate those shlokas you have to taro and five shlokas they will give and any three shlokas you have to translate and don't forget to mention lesson name here 
for each and every translation because mentioning proper lesson name here will carry one mark fourth main that is पाठना मौलिक्या कहा कम प्रति अवदत इति संस्कृत भाषया उत्तरम लिखता यू हैव टू मेंशन लेसन नेम एंड यू हैव टू टेल हु सेड टू होम फॉर फॉलोइंग सेंटेंसेस यू हैव टू राइट दिस आंसर ओनली इन संस्कृत यू हैव टू राइट लेसन नेम बाय राइटिंग प्रॉपर लेसन नेम हियर इन संस्कृत यू विल गेट वन मार्क एंड फॉर हु सेड हाफ मार्क्स फॉर to whom you will get half marks total each question carries two marks and you have to write any four out of six fifth main is dasha vakye hi sanskrita bhashaya kannada bhashaya angla bhashaya va uttaram likata 10 line answers you can write the answers either in sanskrita or in english or also you can write the answers in kannada language here essay type answers that means for each and every answers some introduction part you have to write in the beginning then the content according to question then meaningful conclusion in this order you write all the answers here also out of 8 questions any five questions you have to answer so i think more marks you can score from this main this will be really helpful next main sixth main that is manjushatah suktam padam chitva rikta sthanam pureta you have to fill the blanks all the words will be given in bracket and you have to fill the blanks four marks are given here and next main is a samyojeta math the following here also four marks will be given next main is rekhankita padani ashritya prashna nirmanam kuruta using underlined word you have to make question line you have to write these answers in full line in the end you have to put question mark that is also very very important next main is for grammar totally grammar carries 12 marks and here any four mains you have to write and in each and every mains there will be inner options also i think sandhi vibhajata yojayata samasta padam likhata lakara purusha vachanane likhata linga vibhakti vachanane likhata pada parichayam kurta alankaram salakshanam nirdeshata such mains i think uh, which are the words given in your workbook part tarau all the words and somebody was asking uh, yogyata vistara regarding yogyata vistara you have to practice that the yogyata vistara is given for your practice but in examination questions will be asked from exercise next main will be translations one part is from sanskrit to english or kannada first five you should tell and later next main is from english or kannada to sanskrit first four translation which are given in your exercise part that you have to tell for this upcoming midterm examination and the next main that is i think uh, that will be very easy here optionally patra lekhana will be asked but anyway many students easily uh, uh, can attempt uh, comprehension the paragraph uh, will be given and based on that paragraph five questions will be asked those answers you will get in that paragraph you have to answer it in sanskrit language that will be very easy you can attend and you can leave patra lekhana that also i can suggest you like this totally 100 marks paper beautifully you have to present that is very very important because language means how beautifully you will present how effectively you present that is very very important and use sanskrit quotations uh, in your answers that is also uh, suggestible and 
डोंट डू एनी मिस्टेक्स वॉट एवर द आंसर्स यू नो वेरी वेल सच क्वेश्चन यू पिक सो दैट दैट इज एडवाइजेबल एंड टाइम मैनेजमेंट इज आई थिंक इट्स वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थ्री आवर्स फिफ्टीन मिनट्स एंड एनी वे थ्री आवर्स फॉर राइटिंग थ्री आवर्स यू हाउ टू मैनेज द टाइम टू राइट ऑल द क्वेश्चन गिवन इन क्वेश्चन पेपर hope your doubts are clarified if you have any doubts you can comment so in upcoming days i will try to answer for your doubts i will meet you soon through my next video samasta sammangalani bhavantu